My J mains rank was some 630 something. My advanced rank was uh, 39. My preparation focus is not on mains, let's say. Okay. Uh, I made some silly mistakes and the rank just, I was set for advanced. Okay. I like the curriculum here, I like the freedom here. Okay. I like the amount of time we get to do what we want, all the researchers here. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Basically, just a preference. I like to do sciences, I wanted to explore more. Hello everyone, today we have a very special guest with us and that is Varun. Uh, Varun, welcome to this uh, video. First of all, thanks a lot for taking out some time from your busy schedule to guide students for future uh, aspirants. I will be asking a couple of questions so that uh, other students can also get inspired by your story. So, uh, first of all, tell me very briefly about your uh, selection. Um, I wrote, uh, my J mains rank was some 630 something. No, advanced rank was uh, 39. Um, yeah, and then I chose to come to ISC. So, uh, from mains rank to advanced rank, there was a huge jump. So, what was the case? I mean, mains was really bad for you or in advance you got unexpected good rank? Um, actually, my preparation focus is not on mains, let's say. Okay. Uh, I made some silly mistakes and the rank just fell down. Okay. But uh, yeah, I didn't really focus much on mains. Like I wrote only one mains. The next mains I didn't do not. Okay, okay. I was set for advanced. Okay. And yeah, actually advanced rank was unexpectedly high. Like, uh, I did math well, physics decently. Chemistry, I was bad. But uh, it turned out that math was the most difficult uh, paper that year. So that boosted my rank a lot. If okay. it was not the case, I don't think I would have got such rank. Okay, so your preparation was uh, up to the mark that you'll get a rank somewhere around top 100. That you were short, kind of. Uh, no, no. So you were not chemistry was not doing good. Okay. Yeah, it just happened to be lucky. Okay. So math is good. So, luckily math was difficult that year, so it was a rank. Coming back to the next question, which you must have answered thousand of the time. <laughs> why IIC Bangalore, why not IIT B? Uh, I, I like to do sciences, I wanted to explore more. Okay. Uh, I thought any engineering course would restrict me further and that's the case, like asking my friends who are in IIT B. Uh, it's not that, I'm not trying to say that it's bad or anything, it's just not to my preferences. Okay. Like engineering is too practical for my taste. Okay. I'd want to be a bit more abstract. Okay. I like the curriculum here, I like the freedom here. Okay. I like the amount of time we get to do what we want, all the researchers here. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Basically just a preference. Okay. Of what is so the, area of interest is physics, chemistry or mathematics, which? Uh, I want to do mathematical physics. Mathematical physics? Yeah. Okay. So you were clear about it or you made up your mind after coming to ISC? Um, after my 11th KBI essay rank itself, I was quite clear that I would probably go to ISC okay. if I didn't get any outside comments. Okay, okay. Yeah. And was there any resistance from your parents uh, regarding they this choice? They were skeptical. Like, uh, they obviously asked me, why do you want to do sciences? Why not engineering? Okay. Um, but then they inquired about, inquired about ISC to other friends, like other people who study here. And I was also quite determined. Okay. So they gave in. It's uh, yeah. There was some initial hesitation, but okay. yeah, it worked out. I mean, I'm not the only one here. Like my senior Anmol Kumar, uh, his rank was uh, forty or fifty rounds. Like, even he gave up IITBC and came here. So okay. Looking at such people. So okay. So you gave them these kind of examples. Yeah. That people yeah. do choose IIS yeah. over um, IITs. And I said I am determined, so I will shine anyways. Yeah. Some trust on me. Okay, okay. The choice of a student also determined by the fact what his parents uh, do for the living. Mm -hmm. So I would also like to know the financial status or what your parents do mm -hmm. usually. I mean, yeah, they are both doctors, but I wouldn't say we are financially very well off. <laughs> and I won't say uh, BS is necessarily low paying. Okay. Like, uh, it's it will take a long time to settle, but okay. finally you know you will be doing what you like. Okay. So, yeah. I don't, it didn't play such a big role to me and I don't think it will play a big, very big role unless uh, you're economically very weak. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's basically about, you'll do what you like, that's guaranteed. Okay. And uh, you'll be safe, economically secure, that okay. much is guaranteed and that's enough, I guess. So for you, the main calling was uh, being well, set, satisfied, doing something, a satisfying like. job or financial For me, it is it. Uh, doing a satisfying job, like, okay. I want to do what I like. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't know I didn't like engineering, so. So you have completed one year over here. Yes. So now, have you have your thoughts changed or if they are still the same? No, but I don't. Do you regret being here? Yeah, you are as strong 
had it as you were. I was as strong as I ever was. Uh, okay. If not a bit more stronger. Uh, yeah, my views have changed, but not regarding should I have chosen IIC. Okay. I've changed my views from doing physics to mathematics. I learned a lot, I explored a lot, I've changed a lot, definitely. Okay, okay. But regarding my decision to come to IIC, yeah, I'm as strong as I ever was. Okay, but still, you want to pursue this field? Yeah. yeah. So, given a choice, you will again choose IIC over IITV? No, I would choose IIC. Now that I know more about IITV, I would not choose it. <laughs> <laughs> you would not choose it? Yeah, like the curriculum. Okay. Was there any social pressure? Uh, uh, about your choice that uh, what you have wasted, you are such a good rag. Something, <laughs> was there something like that? Yeah, actually nobody asked me directly that. Maybe okay. they didn't want to. Okay. But uh, yeah, some people did ask it. Uh, but yeah, people will talk a lot of things. We should choose what we want to read. Uh, okay. And they are asking out of concern only. Good. Probably if they know me better, they would suggest me go to ISC. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Is studying theoretical things all the time. Is it tiresome or enjoyable experience? What kind of thing? I like it, so it's enjoyable. Uh, for others, it might be stressful maybe because they don't like, like doing engineering a lot, doing practical things a lot is stressful for me. So <laughs> okay. It's just a matter of tasting. Is okay. And so uh, for JE, you must have put n number of hours per day. What is the academic load over here? One of you do get some respite uh, from this hectic schedule, or well, yeah. is it is still the same? The Pressure drops thousandfold. Okay. <laughs> uh, the amount of class hours in IIC per week is 24 hours. Okay. It is like when during J preparation per day we used to put 10 hours or something. So, <laughs> yeah, the pressure drops a lot. Okay. Uh, and what is expected also drops a lot. Like in J, if I get two or three marks below someone, that's something I have to be worried about. I have to look for where did I lose those three marks. Uh -huh. Here it's not like that. You can be 10 marks below someone and get the same grade. Okay. <laughs> it's like it is more about what I learned than. Uh, uh, a lot of things that matter in Jainic. Speed, accuracy, all those things don't matter here. Okay. We can't compare because different people have different interests. Okay. There, it's all about comparison. Okay. So, yeah, it's a very so cool that kind of benchmarking is not here. Uh, up to Not up to that extent. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Some benchmarking should be there, of course. Uh, so, my next question will be, uh, when you must have entered ISC, you must be having some kind of expectation from, say, campus life or mm. professors yeah. or kind of courses you will be doing. So, uh, what is your take on this now? Are you disappointed or you are fully satisfied or there are some area of improvement over here which I you would have liked? More than satisfied. More the, than. I, it is what I expected. Like, the first three semesters I knew I would have to do chemistry also, labs also. Uh, they went as bad as I expected. <laughs> so, yeah, some bad part was there but it's fine. Uh, I was told the professors would be approachable, like, this is the uh, costume in which I go to the classes. Okay. So, I knew that was the environment and that, that's what I like. Okay. Um, yeah, it was what I expected. I don't regret anything. Okay. So, you are enjoying campus life? Yes, yes. Hostel yes. life? Yeah, I very much am enjoying it. Like, I have not uh, been in hostels uh, or been to been out with friends. Like, okay. It's a nice experience I'm having here. Yeah. So, uh, what are your future plan after completing the degree, would you be going for jobs or for higher studies? What are the plans? I will definitely be going for higher studies, okay. going for PhD, uh, but I don't know in which field. I'm okay. still exploring. Okay. Yeah. It's a lot to explore and find out. Okay. So it is just a bit too early to ask, where do you see yourself 10 years down the line? What, the, what kind of life you would be leading or would choose to have? Yeah, as I said, I know I'd be doing something that I want, Okay. but uh, which particular field, I have no idea. Like okay. I'm exploring still. Okay. There's a lot of things I don't know. It is not like you, you will be a scientist or you will be a professor or uh, you will be a financial expert. I probably be a professor. I probably be in, a, be in academia. Okay. Um, but which field would I be working on is... Uh, that's the main part. And okay. I have not decided that yet. Okay. And I think that's the pro part of it. Like You can, you can uh, delay the decision. You can choose whatever you want. There are plenty of options for exp to explore and choose. Okay. So for you, uh, money matters definitely. But not that much, right? No, You're not, not after that. Uh, fair not packages. After, after. No. <laughs> that doesn't excite you much, right? No, no. I don't know why. Maybe because my parents didn't let me feel that. Like, okay. <laughs> That's a very good, a very good parenting, I would say. Uh, in the last part, I would ask you to say a few words for the student. Uh, lots of time I will get a call from the student that they are willing to go for a research field, but okay. their parents are not al aligned. Okay. So, what kind of message you would like to give to those kind of students plus how they should pursue their career in this thing uh, if they are preparing for IIT or something like ISC? 
um if you really want to do something then please proceed because down the line in the future you are the one who is going to lead your life and if you regret your decision then it will be too late so if you feel like you have to explore something if you feel something is not for you you belong somewhere else it's your responsibility to fight and get it uh, yeah parents will say only out of concern if you give them enough uh, supporting arguments they are going to let you do what you like why sh- why would they force you okay so yeah um stay motivated uh, taking research field is not some very dangerous thing you are doing there are a lot of people doing it <laughs> uh, you come to iisc literally even walking on the road is a researcher But so yeah there are a lot of people doing it. it's not very some unsafe decision uh, contact people like uh, ask people like me or people here anyone i uh, will support you if you want to take research there is no hesitation to do so okay if you think you can work on the field forever if you love the field very much then please do come in Uh, this was for the student who are very much determined to go to uh, research field there might be some student who are uh, sitting on the edge and they are not able to decide whether they are they would be good for research or not so what kind of quality do you think a student should have just on the top of the mind if you are having any the only quality is persistence Perfect. if you like what you do if you can do it repeatedly you are fit for it there is no inherent talent you should have or anything learning part will do uh, if you can persist if you love the something that much you are fit to do research there's no fitness criteria and no? all okay uh, you like it you can do it that's that's just that's uh, what just the refinement said ha uh, just a very small question somebody thinks he is very good at mathematics and he uh, love mathematics and during jee preparation he is not getting marks in mathematics can he pursue <laughs> this field definitely definitely i initially is there any objective criteria to decide in uh, i will criteria get into this or this is just uh, the feeling or hunch he no, should form some criteria i can give us if you like olympiad mathematics if okay. you like it's not if you're good at or anything okay if you like olympiad mathematics if you like that type of mathematics over jee mathematics then probably you're oriented towards research okay uh yeah it's about what you like it's not about how good you are okay so you all said very well uh, thanks for taking out this time i hope your students will be immensely benefited thanks a lot thank you stick and this